Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of my dead vlog. And in, you may have seen a little bit of change, like there's a computer with a different layout and there's an item box and the lamp is in a different place and we got to see a body there which is part of a cutscene that you don't see in the game and yeah and there's a little cube in this corner so I'll explain what these are like this computer is an interactive computer that you can click on the items I haven't made it work with controller yet and this cube is an item randomizer it will change depending on um, it will change your items like it's random and I only have three items set up so far I had a pen an ammo box and a gun and I have a setup so if you have a gun it would um, it wouldn't give you it wouldn't give you five of those guns if it chooses to gun me I haven't set it up so you, if you have a gun it won't pick a gun. I, I, can, I know how to do that but I won't do it yet. And this um, is an item box where you can store your items. I've got an inventory system as well. Um, I also have an intro cutscene. Let me show everything else first. Um, let me show the cutscene. Let me break the work and I'll play the cutscene. Takes a little bit. Mm-mm. My head. Where, where am I? Last thing I remember is Oh god no. No. I can't be here. Not here. The experiment, it's running. I need to get out of here right now. And that's all the cutscene for that part. And then when you pick up the ammo, oh, I'll tell you no one other. Let's pick up this and it'll give you some inks. We still think I've got a control of what I can do. And then this one is it will save and tell you that you're playing on normal mode, the bedroom and then return to saved in that slot and the time and the date and the character's profile picture and if you go in here, I think I have a I have got an item um, keeps thinking of the other controller or not I don't like this. I guess you thinking of playing with the control or not. I mean, let me just disconnect this to go to this one. So don't play the intro again. I don't know why it does the that you have to have the control again. I like this item system. <laughs> and then if I put it in the box, I can pull it in the box and it will stay in the box. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I can't save it though because no pens available. And uh, I need to fit that in the item because it won't go in my inventory. Even though I've got enough slots. Alright, let me fit that. Hang on. One second, go to asset, and I think it's just changing this to one because you add a name with this and it only takes up one slot. So it should fit this one hopefully. Let's see, let's hopefully see. Add it to my 
what does this give me this time? And a handgun, nice. I don't know if I could combine it with this. No, because it only has six. So it's fine. Yeah. And um, here's how you deal with how many slots it takes up. I think it's in a different thing than this, because it's under the defaults. One column and one rows in terms of what item it is and how much stack it holds up, the item name and the um, description. And and if you want a different shortcut image, you could change that. And if you want to override the mesh, like I can change it to the. So I've got three of the meshes. And yeah, can examine. If you want to change the start rotation, the pivot point prop offset, I don't know what those mean. And if it changed the socket, but yes. Uh, and if I press play, it should change the image to the item when you examine it to be bigger because those two are bigger than the other one I put on there. The other one is just for the overload. I, um, I don't know how to make it smaller in the game. We take the handgun, yes. And if I design it, it's much bigger. Much, much bigger. Too big. <laughs> and if I want to, like, if I uh, change it to uh, two columns and two. Just one row. It's columns. I don't remember what columns is. And um, if I change the mesh to number two. Well, if I change it to one, but change this to like. Still add it as if it's one slot though. Yeah. Is it gonna play? Okay. Are you playing? Shit. Press the play is <laughs> I press it twice! <laughs> this is taking too long. God damn it. Game okay, please. For this one, there's no way to type, it'll be the same, yeah, and it kicks you out when you um, fail. And then when you go in, it'll still be like that because you can't press anything either. So you just, you just quit out. But yeah, that's what I've done. I haven't added the door yet because um, the game it broke for a week. There's, I've been off for two weeks from game development because one week I had was fixing everything because um, the character mesh got corrupted and I couldn't press play and I couldn't change the character mesh because that um, the skeletal mesh was broken so I did it and just copy everything open, make a new file, put it and 
there wasn't much work I had to do and I haven't done the island system for this wardrobe yet and yeah did it tell you to say yeah, I can't say it. video where I'll probably try and add some more stuff. Um, I need to add the door opening and another cutscene that happens after the computer set when you have the door. Something happens and then you gotta hide. And that's about it. I want another cutscene with a monster that shows up and run and does some things and then leaves. And then you gain control of your character. But that's about everything so far. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye then.